Yesterday on Oxygen Included Adventures, <laughs> we, um, I, I had this idea that I could make a room in space and then cool all the carbon dioxide, or sorry, convert all the carbon dioxide to oxygen. Uh, but the problem is we built it and all the resources and everything inside of it are like really hot. So we... All the oxyferns are just over temp right now. It's like 100 and something degrees in there. So what I want to do, this is my idea, is what I want to do is I want to basically move some cold water from the cold water biome, because you know, we have a whole bunch of water over there just chilling, right? Uh, and pull it in here and then use that to uh, to get these oxyferns going. At the same time, uh, I've actually, uh, right when I loaded up, I've gone ahead and I've marked all of these um, all of these jobs here to, uh, to just one, you know, just a priority of one. That way they don't work on it unless they absolutely have to, because I no longer want to pull water <clears throat> using this method all the way up. And actually, I'll go in just to make sure it doesn't happen. I'll go and cancel that one. That way we don't get any interference there. Uh, all the water that's coming in from over here is pretty warm. Like this is what is 114 degrees. And I think that my idea is actually better. Uh, I just got to make some adjustments and everything. So, so. Wilson released today looking good. Yeah, it's, uh, I hear that they're going to be adding control support sometime soon. Uh, according to the devs, it's like it's going to be one of their future updates. Uh, is that? Okay, good. Okay, I was like, hold on a second. I guess I didn't do the calculations or anything yet. Um, but yeah, until then, you know, we'll see. My friend talked me into purchasing it last night, and then I forgot. So now I'm just going to let it sit and just, you know, maybe come back to it later. So I have to do a whole bunch of, uh, let me see, I tried to map this out last night. <laughs> what I had to do. Uh, I should have made sticky notes, actually. Okay, I already know they have a bunch of liquid bottlers and everything, and they don't, I know for a fact that if, even if you disable the building, they'll still pull water out of it, which is super, super silly. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll take and snip this uh, from here to here. That'll get, to, get rid of that. Uh, and then I'm going to, so that basically takes that out of the system. Uh, this right here, I think, uh, yeah, water. So this right here, we'll go ahead and also disable, and we'll make that a nine. They'll get over there and they'll disable that. I'm just trying to figure out everywhere that there's water that can be dropped. And here we go, we have liquid. Is water in here? Water is part of it. Uh, and we could see, we could actually see how much liquid we have. Click on this, and this actually shows you nine tons of water. Just chilling? Oh my God, we must have, yeah, oh, oh man. All right, so we have other issues too. I guess we got to resolve. So before we before we go and try my crazy idea of pouring ice all over a bunch of oxyferns and then having that same liquid turn around and then feed the oxyferns, um, we're gonna have to go and do some cleanup. We're gonna have to also get rid of all the bottles because what will happen is if I put a bottle emptier inside of that room, they're gonna run around and collect all the damn bottles that are sitting out full of 100 plus degree water and then dump it all over my oxyferns. I'm trying to cool it. It does not work that way. It just will not work. So uh, what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll set this to this is set to nine right now. And while they're running around doing that, I will come over here and I'm gonna build a bottler somewhere over here. Let me see. I'm just gonna go not emergency nine. There we go. So we'll put a bottler here. Da, 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 da. Insulated pipe. I guess it really matters. Insulated or not. And then a bottler. Did I put that pipe in the right place. The show did. Cool. So that's gonna be our cold water dispenser, basically. And the only one that we have that's gonna be functional. All everything else is gonna be disabled or the, the things gonna be severed or something. Uh, there's some water that's actually actually still in here. Yeah, so we we'll have to get rid of that as well. So what we'll do is we'll we'll just set this up to auto bottle and I think they'll pull water from there and bring it over. We'll have to just watch this nine tons here and see uh, how quickly that uh, ends up going down, if at all. <clears throat> why is Mike's wait? Why is Mike's rock this wet? <laughs> Cause what is this? Are you here for uh, what came again? Yes, it's going to happen. Auto bottles on. It's still nine tons of water. Wow, where's all this water at? That's not nine tons of water in. Let's see. Obviously not right there. Oh, there's a bunch up here too. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to execute a sweep order and get these guys. Um. Oh shit! There's a whole bunch of hot rock in here too. Oh my god! Please give me back control of the game. One of these years they're gonna they're gonna tighten that up a little bit so we don't have to worry. But yeah. Oh man, 290 degrees. That has to go like right this second. <laughs> it's just just heating up the inside. There we go. And then we'll go and also do a K9, so a sweep 9 on this stuff here. That way they get those bottles of water. And actually, all bottles of water, I should probably go ahead and mark. No, 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 no. Oh god, missed. Oh, hold on, let's just go. I should just have them just do a sweep command for the entire damn base. Look at the frames. 
<laughs> Holy crap. Is that because I have anything open? Is anything running? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um, my render is going, which it shouldn't be. That's a little better. That's a little better. What do we have here? Uh, algae. 500 keys and algae. Oh, hey, look at that. I guess it's going to go into this, but we'll go and disable that. Oh, it is already disabled. Good. I guess it's going to go into the fish feeder. So yellow alert too. Let me see. We're already down to 600. Oh, wow. Actually, they already dumped a whole lot of water. I guess somebody picked up nine tons of water and got rid of it. Uh, if you issue one big sweep over the whole base, it probably will. It's a pretty big base. It is a pretty big base. Uh, get that last bit of water. Come on. It's middle of the day. Let's go ahead and get that going. Dump the water. We want that to be zero because wherever this water is, it is more than likely going to be warmer than the uh, water that we're trying to move. And so this is a critical part of this whole uh, this whole plan here. Let me see. Yeah, and they still haven't picked up this, so I'm going to go and clean that up as well. Mm. Yeah, we have to have... I mean, we, uh, yeah, we have to get all this stuff up. All this liquid and everything needs to be mopped up. Mop that shit. Mop that shit. Mop everything. Mop everything. No, no liquid laying around. Because then if somebody decides to go, if I go and like clean something up and they can put hot water up there, it ruins the whole thing. Uh, in the meantime, oh shit, they still haven't gotten to this? Why? Top priority. Why have they not gotten to this? Errands. Nobody's got on errands. Is this thing... Permissions are up. Huh. Oh, they, did, they were doing the bottom first. Okay, damn. I should have... Well, that's... Why are they doing this? Mafic rock. There is a. Uh, let's see, Mafic raw material, raw mineral. Come on, open it up. Oh, you know what? Before we fuck something up, let's go down here and let's see what uh, what we have here. Well, wow, nothing in there. Oh, agriculture. What was this supposed to be? Fertilizer and phosphorite. Oh, okay. So there's basically none of that. How much phosphorite do we have? Is that going to be the next biggest uh, issue? Uh, phosphorite. We have plenty. Um, but we need to make sure that we don't have regolith or, uh, let me see, what was the other raw mineral? Or mafic rock. What was the third thing? Uh, granite. Hmm. That's a tough one, because granite is, like, we have a lot of granite. How much granite do we have? Let me see. Granite, granite. Which one was I clicking on? Shit. <laughs> I'll do it again. Uh, granite was a mir mineral, mineral, raw mineral. Granite, granite, granite. 142.5 tons. Okay, so we'll just put a higher priority on the cases outside in space because I don't want them to move some granite that's 235 degrees down here into this, you know, storage area, and then it ends up just fucking sizzling everything that's that's around. Um, I'm fairly sure was I got myself a puff farm going last night. Nice. What a great time we just finished yesterday's vibe. Oh wow. <laughs> great. Good to good to hear. You're all caught up. Now, uh, Mafic Rock. Okay, so we'll basically just do this. Mafic Rock. And we'll just go across the board, we'll go across the board, we'll go across the board here. Actually, you know, we'll just do everything. There we go. It looks like a bunch of stuff fell out. Ah, so we do have a bunch of mafic rock that's already here. Uh, this stuff is actually not that hot, but I think just getting it out of there would still be good. A bunch of lumber too, actually. Hmm. Do I not have a place to store lumber? I guess not. I guess not. I was running. I was running all upstairs. We'll tackle this later. Uh, obviously, we need to do some more priority uh, priority shifts to the. Uh, uh, to that setup, but really, this needs to happen. Like stat, they're not even—they're not even bothering with this, which kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Cause there's a boss to come in here and just fucking clean it up. All right, K okay, zero. Emergency, get it. What is the other? Oh, sorry, there's a there's a third one. Ah, oh, this one. This is probably taking priority too. Uh, did we get all the water out of the? Yeah, so all the water is gone. So good. We can actually go ahead and disable this from um, make that like a nine. I should make that more like a seven or six or something. Uh, I don't want them to move uh, to take priority over what I'm about to build up top. So, let's see. They still are not touching it. What is going on? Errands. Why the fuck is nobody coming up here and touch and, and, and get grabbing this? I'm a little I'm a little confused here. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just do this. If they're not gonna take it, I'll just put it in fucking space. There we go. Done. Problem solved. I was gonna room with that anyways. The door is not locked. At least I don't think it's locked. I'll check in a second. It's on auto, and everybody could go through. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like a bug, but it might not be. Maybe there's some something somewhere that uh, that I changed. I'm going to get rid of this. This is all part of the plan, okay? And we're going to go ahead and uh, deconstruct this. And then we'll put another drain right there. So we have two drains on either side of this. But now they're going to clean it up. 
Tell me they're going to clean up everything around it and leave the one that's actually flagged. Yep. I don't know what it is, but at least we were able to eject it out into space, so whatever. Um, check a container box for something. Shit's either full or not enabled. No, there's room right here. Uh, and this has raw mineral, uh, mafic rock. So, no, this room. There's room. They're just not doing it for some reason, so I'm not gonna worry about it. It's fine. It's gonna sit there in space and just think about what it's done. Uh, let's see. Bottle opener. So here we go. This is the key. This is the key right here, this bottle opener. So we get that in there. And then this should be it. Yeah. So right now, what's happening is, yeah, irrigation and body temperature. Uh, irrigation we're gonna solve using the drains. It's gonna be a very slow process, but we only need to convert a little bit of, uh, of oxygen. Uh, it's not getting any warmer in here, I don't think. Yeah, it's actually getting cooler. So we could get things set up and just not do anything just yet because we don't want to start converting all this stuff over. Is that? Did we just get like a puff of natural gas? We sure did. <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, we have plenty of... Hmm. Maybe we could try to get some of that out if we open this door. Just to get that out. We have to go in and out of here anyway, so. Yeah, the order note for it was red. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. It's not part of the, it's not part of my plan right now, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, we do need to start pulling out some gas to put into the um, the observatory. So let's go ahead and get that at least started. And there's a way I want to try to do this. Let me see. Can we go? Is this regular? Regular? Okay. So that's gonna fall. Oh, actually, you know what? We should probably put up another thing before we get bombarded. I started these yesterday. I didn't actually finish it. And then let's see, go ahead and cut through some of this. Just whenever you guys get an opportunity to run power between the two, it'd be great. They can't reach that necessarily. So what we'll put another ladder up. So we'll go boom. Ta-da. Okay. Like this, maybe. Sure. And that will oh, this is all gonna collapse too. So I might as well go and tag that. There we go. Uh, maybe I should go ahead and uh, no no never mind. I was gonna say I'll go ahead and cut this out too, but nah. Then I'll have to put like another door up and all that, and I'm just not gonna Whoa. Yeah, see? <laughs> Someone's gonna get stuck. Someone's gonna get stuck. Here it comes. Someone's gonna get stuck. Is Hugshot stuck? No. He's hungry. He's just chilling, I guess. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Hugshot. He's gonna... He's gonna lock himself out. Man. These motherfucking dupes! <laughs> Make me so mad! Open the door. Oh, so long. Oh god, it takes so long. Now get out. <laughs> now close it. There we go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> let's see, let's make these both nines, that way uh, we could at least control when they go in and out here. Um, Alright, so we're gonna run... Is this room empty yet? Okay, there's still some stuff in there. What we'll do is, just for the time being, just to get this room completely empty so we can start over, is uh, bust out the snips and we're gonna snip the, the gas, this pipe right here. And then, for everything else, we're gonna start running some ventilation. So, let's have this go... I guess it doesn't matter if we're going to space, so we'll go up. And then over, and then up and over. <laughs> this is that's that's really that's really dumb. We should probably clean up this mess here. Let's do this, and then we'll just move that down a little bit. There's a lot of natural gas coming out of there, actually. Hmm. Get a space scanner on those. Oh, is that is that what we need? A space scanner? I didn't even know what that is. <laughs> so cool. I'll look into that. Um, let me see. Is this gonna give us something soon? Point two cycle. Oh, let's just let this thing run for a second until we get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't think we're gonna get anything good, but I don't want it to stay here for a second. For too long. My head, boss! <sighs> 30 seconds at 10x speed. Well, not really 10x, I guess. There we go. Hatchling egg, sure. Alright, let me think. Um, so we have a... Natural gas issue, that's right. Natural gas is bleeding into something, somehow. Where's it coming from? Gotta be coming from down here, right? Ah, it's coming from down here. Got it. Um, so this machine, yeah, okay, so this machine runs, it fills us up, natural gas coming through. Let's go ahead and change this thing to... Uh, to send a signal if it's above, let's say 2,000. That way it's like guaranteed to be carbon dioxide, because the carbon dioxide will push its way down here and just move that natural gas up, so we won't have to worry about it. Cool, so we'll do that. And that's also going to give us a, a 
ton of uh, carbon dioxide to work with. We probably have a bunch. Of, yeah, look at all this natural gas is kind of chilling here. So we're still going to put up a, a vent. We're just going to move this vent down a little bit. Let me see. Insulated. So we'll go up and over. And then put a vent right here. This room is... I mean, it's still got natural gas in it, but it's like 7 point something nine. Yeah, 7 point whatever grams is basically nothing. How funny. It takes forever to suck all that stuff up. Like, real space would have just gotten rid of it right away. Um, Where is everybody at? <laughs> Y'all need to come down here and finish his jobs, man. We got work to do. I don't think they actually reach it if I do some of that. So let's put some uh, some ladders up. Some convenience ladders. And then, uh, is it my pause on pause? My pause? Oh, I was pause. Okay. <laughs> we get this thing out of here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a... We need to set up a system to control how often this machine runs. And also make sure that we only pull in, um, natural gas. Or, sorry, uh, oxygen. Because I'm fairly certain if we put anything that's oxygen in that machine, it's probably going to break, like, everything else in the game. So, we'll just run this over. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, God, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. So, good, that's connected. And, let's see, pipe, pipe, pipe. Uh, can we get this, uh, priority on this side? Thank you. We're gonna need a valve. We're gonna need a pipe sensor, uh, which is probably gonna be on, all that's gonna be under ventilation. So we'll do valve, and then we'll do like this, and then we'll put the gas pipe element sensor here, and this is just so we can eject anything that's not oxygen. And then I guess we could put another one uh, inside that will sense just oxygen. Mm, no, I don't think we necessarily have to do that because it's just gonna eject uh, anything that's not oxygen anyway. So. Yeah, and the oxyferns are definitely going to overpressurize this room. That is 100% happening, so that's, uh, <laughs> so that'll be fun. Oh, for reals? This nonsense? Oh my god. Is this the kind of shit you have to deal with? For reals? <laughs> it's just going to pack me, pack all this in. That's awesome. Oh, man. Okay, we could get the rest of this going. Let's see. Ventilation. And then we'll put an output here. And this is going to be for our anything except for, we'll see if it senses. Oh, hold on a second. No, we should get, we'll do the other way, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. <laughs> um, if it senses, I'm trying to think. Uh, if it senses uh, uh, carbon dioxide, then it'll turn on. I'll just have him build it real quick. That way I could just visualize this thing as I go, because right now I have too many things in my mind to think, <laughs> to think straight. Let me see. Nope. Oh. Did I put the right valve on there? Oh, is that, um, that's not a, hold on. Oh, that's an, oh, that's a wrong damn valve. Whoops. My fault. Get that thing out of there. It's the gas shutoff I want. There we go. We will wait. There. Now, we want it to, whenever it senses carbon dioxide, then it, um, or sorry, whenever it senses, uh, the, uh, oxygen, then it opens up the uh, the lead sends a, sends a green signal. That'll open up this, and then anything else it'll turn off. There we go. That's how it's, that's how it's supposed to work. Sometimes you just gotta like lay it out and look at it. The road to ten thousand cycles. Well, hold on, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. Let's see what it does here. If I uh, just just as a test, because there's a bunch of crap in there right now. Uh, oops, that was that was incorrect. Wrong, 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 wrong. Let's see what it does here. For the bypass. So this will just basically, yeah, it's gonna get rid of. Duh, 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 duh. Is this having a. Oh, okay. When I see that little flame thing, it makes me worried. Is that gonna require. Oh, gas shot up. Oh, yeah, I gotta put a wire on that too. So. Mm -mm. So that's working swimmingly because there's no oxygen in there. So that's just gonna keep working. And space is infinite, so we're never gonna have this pipe, this vent back up. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now for the rest, let's go ahead and get the ventilation pipe hooked up to the. this. <clears throat> I, this the save time of ten thousand has to be absolutely awful. Oh man, I bet. You yeah, had clickbait title. You'll live. <laughs> You'll be fine. So remember, we still have to get we still have to get this room cool, and I'm, we're gonna use my bottle, uh, my bottle uh, uh, transportation method. 
But first, I want to make sure that this system is uh, is good. So now we can hook up these two and see what happens. Let me see. So ventilation. Boop. So there it goes. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. So it works perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. And we have an infinite supply of uh, of of natural gas. So long. Oh, sorry. Uh, carbon dioxide. So long as the um, natural gas guys are functional. It's time. Is there any water anywhere? Let's check or make sure. There's water. What is this? Oh, cool. That's perfect. That's what we want to see. We want to see water here and nowhere else. Let me just let me just click around on it. Make sure. Click, 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 click. Good. So that water is at, at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah! <laughs> Which I think for um uh, for Celsius that's zero degrees Fahrenheit. So it's it's like 0 0.1 degrees for, uh, for Celsius. So uh, it's gonna it should freeze at 32 degrees, but it's a video game, so we'll let it slide. It's perfect. Now we are going to, hmm, we can't put a sensor in here to like turn this thing off and on because there's going to be gases swirling all over the place. So it's going to be constantly triggering. We're going to have to come up with another method in order to make that work using maybe a couple gates, filter gates, something like that. We'll see. Uh, but for the time being, I do think this is going to work. Otherwise, this thing's going to keep on running just nonstop. Just running, 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 because once this thing gets full of oxygen, it's going to keep on going. Oh, actually, it might back up here, actually. You know, you know it might back up. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, what we'll back up? No, it's gonna keep going on space because it's bypassed there. Okay, uh, let's turn it on. So liquid, and we're gonna go uh, water, obviously. We're gonna make it a nine, and we are going to enable auto bottle. There we go. So now they can pull water from, uh, let's see, where is that shift two? Okay, I'm gonna start changing the way I do my, um, my uh, what's it called? My, my save locations. So two is over here. That's good. Actually, we'll move it a little bit. There we go, control two. So now let's see what happens. Somebody should come over here in just a second to grab some water from here. Here we go. Let's hug shot. Grab 200 keys of water. It does, somebody else got a bunch of water too. Great. And now let's go over here. And he's going to drop it off. Somewhere. Where'd he go? There we go. Boom. All right. Water's going in. We see green everywhere already. We have water going into the, uh, into the planters. The hydroponic tiles, and you can see the oxyphones are starting to actually kick on. Uh, and here you go. <laughs> uh, what's the temperature of that gas coming out? Uh, 95 degree oxygen. Hey, that's pretty good. And all I needed was just a couple, just a couple little squirts of water. Wow, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and what's great about this is it's pretty much gonna run itself like the only thing we have to do is occasionally go over there and drop a bottle of water in there to feed it just like you'd feed your house plants or something uh, and that's pretty much it so yeah there it is easy huh how funny look how green it is already 66 degrees wow we just instantly instantly solved the problem this room is gonna get packed full of oxygen too let's uh take a look what oh it doesn't show the uh let's see gas there we go that's what we want to see Oh, Todd, continuing that gift sub. Thank you so much, Todd. Appreciate that. Thank you. Glad you're caught up, because, yeah, we're hitting that 1,000 today. Today. Look at them go. Look at them go. And what's great is they can actually uh, fertilize it from underneath. So we don't have to worry about them even, like, fertilizing this bitch. Look at that. Just dropping dirt off underneath, I guess. And then already so much oxygen. There's so much oxygen already here. It's probably pretty warm, but I don't think they really care. 98 degrees. Now nah, I'll take it. Nah, a little bit warmer, 102 degrees. Beautiful, just beautiful. I'll let them. I'll let them keep going here just to get get this pipe basically completely backed up. But that means that we're good. All we have to do is get up here and clean this mess. <laughs> and then, oh man, this is probably super hot. It is super hot. Oh man, how can I? God, it's all regolith too. Uh, what was what was the thing you said to get? There was some kind of is it like some kind of defense mechanism or something. What would that be under? The shipping, uh, there's a robo miner. Will that do it? <laughs> Space scanner. Okay, is that a station, I guess? Let's see. Nope. Skill scrubber, furniture, oh, probably furniture, refinement, ventilation, plumbing, base. Is this something you have to research? I'm guessing it's something you have to research. It's under rocketry. Okay, so it's something I have to research then. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and open these up and oh, what other issues is this thing having? No line of sight, no analysis focus. Cool. So we'll research that first. We have to open this up and get all these things cut out. It's gonna do damage to this, which sucks, but whatever. 
Uh, so yeah, look, this is the problem here that, that I figured was going to happen is that it's going to just continue cranking out all this oxygen and getting rid of it. I'd much rather have this room get like hyper compressed and just completely packed full of oxygen. Um, and that way we can later use that oxygen for something else if we need to, or just always have oxygen readily available for this. And the only way to really do that is put up a gas sensor, uh, gas element sensor, pressure, no, not pressure. Oh, we could do a pressure sensor. Yeah, when it gets to a certain pressure inside, it just shuts this thing off. Because that would definitely mean that it's full, right? Like, what is the pressure inside here? Uh, pretty high. Oh, you know, you know what? No, never mind. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work because it, this is the problem here, is that it's ejecting too easily. Let's grab a gate. A filter gate. And we'll put it right, uh, like right here. I think we need a not gate. I should have like thought of this ahead of time, but let's just go with it and just see what happens. And then we'll do Is that enough room to get zigzag uh, through there. No, it won't be able to zigzag through there. We'll do like this, like this. Actually, let's get it out of that range and put it down somewhere. It's a little bit uh, more tucked away. Let's see, not gates. We'll see. I, I, I should have thought of this ahead of time, but we're just gonna do it again. Just learn by doing. The telescope's getting wrecked. Oh, that's right. Oh, damn! I flagged all this stuff to get uh, to get cleaned up, but I guess they they didn't take me seriously. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take damage no matter what. Oh, it's made of iron too. That's gotta go. Oh, this whole thing's wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna dismantle it. <laughs> it's made of iron, man. Like the second that something hits it, it's gonna melt like instantly. So yeah, we'll just do that. Um, in the meantime, let me let me get my brain in order here. I fell in the doors. Oh, yeah, I, I tagged it. I tagged it to. I don't, I'm sure you guys saw. I, I tagged it to to dig, but once it falls, they just don't. They just don't listen. <laughs> They're just like, I know you want me to dig that boss, but now it's over here. So I don't know if you really still want me to dig. Do you want me to dig still? It's kind of like someone trying to get out of work. <laughs> All right, let's see. So blue, blue, blue. Then let's go ahead and hook this up. We'll hook this up straight to this, and then this to this, and we'll see if that's enough to give it a. I think I have to reverse it, but we'll see. This is constantly going. Oh, no, you know what? I know what I have to do. Yeah, I have to... I have to put a gas element sensor on the other side. This is not going to do anything because it's constantly flickering, so it's not going to matter what kind of gates or anything I put up on it. So we'll do a gas pipe sensor. That's what we need. Automation wire. So this will hook up to this and then we'll see if that works if that does what i want it to do <sighs> small heads up you can put mesh tiles below your bunker uh, doors and it will allow light through oh you can mesh tiles huh and it doesn't just get dunked on colony achievement what did i get for this we're 984 right now so we'll check the achievements we have a thousand we have a thousand we'll do it we'll do a nice little wrap up and see where we're at uh how funny this is working like actually actually just perfect oh, we'll shut off now so that's fine uh, let's go ahead and make this a five, just so that they're not constantly bringing things in. They should be like a nobody's radar now. Let's see, Aaron's number 17. Yeah, that's perfect. Like, as long as it's like low, I'll put out four, actually. See where that moves it. Uh, 27, 28. Cool. Go out. It basically means it's never, never going to get done. So that's what we want. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay, so uh, element sensor. So it senses oxygen, and it sends a green signal. And then let's go back to this. Uh, is that connected? Should sense oxygen. Oh, is it not hooked up? Yeah, it's not hooked up. Just one little patch. Awesome. Oh, it is. Is it sending a red signal because... Oh, because there's no oxygen in it. Because it all got sucked out, I guess. Huh, how funny. Okay, well, that mix explains a lot, I guess. Well... Then that means that this is incorrect, because if it's empty, I need it to go ahead and redirect some of that, or start redirecting. So that's why I have the not gate. Okay, good. So in my head, I had it right the first time. I just didn't uh, uh, follow through with exactly how I was going to do it. So this goes here, this goes here, and we'll go ahead and cut those. And that should solve that problem. And then we'll adjust the buffer gate to figure out how we want to do that. So what it should do is send a red signal, that converts to a green signal. And if it stays green for too long, which means there's no oxygen in that particular part of this pipe, then it'll turn on the pump to get some more oxygen in the pipe. And then once it does get enough, it'll turn red again. Uh, which is green, or, or no, green, which will turn red uh, through the knock gate, which after a certain amount of time will shut off the pump. Yeah, that should work. 
Yeah, so now it's going to run like crazy because it's not filling anything up. So this this is this is this is working as is. Yeah, simple. Super simple. <laughs> stations. Let's see. So stations we're going to put a telescope. This time, this time we're going to put it made make it out of steel. There we go. Now let's move it over a little bit too. That way it's kind of a little bit more in the center ish. It's kind of like leaning to the side. I, I think that I think I read it's asymmetrical, so I think this is probably the right, right way to do it. Maybe we have to clear up more, but we'll see. And then we'll just want one more little boop. And then I guess we'll just connect this as well. Be careful of heat build up. Where? Where would heat build up? Where would I see heat build up? In here? Never. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, maybe eventually, but it's already so cold in here because of the water that we're bringing in. Yeah, it's just going to take a long time. So, get this thing built. Get it built. Come on, come on. I know I'm pumping O2 out. It's fine. I have an infinite supply of carbon dioxide right now. Infinite. It's not, it's, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing, I'm, I'm, I'm injecting, I'm injecting into space. So, we're fine. We just gotta get this thing built and then everything should fall into place. Now we just, and then we just have to, uh, once we get everything in, then we're gonna have to make adjustments to this gate. Let me see, what do I, what is it? Why click on it? Five seconds. We'll do like, uh, 30 seconds. There we go. 30 seconds. So it has to wait a certain amount of time before it kicks it on. 30 seconds of nothing and then, boop. Now it's our pump in. There we go. It'll probably, you know, you know it's gonna take, it's gonna be a gap in between each, each pump, so. Yeah, it kind of works. Let's make it, let's make it five seconds just to get it. And then we should see. Mm-hmm. Toggle, 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 toggle. Once it actually gets full, then we'll see if it uh, is working appropriately. Nope, seven. That's gonna take forever. Let's make that, uh, just to get that thing full. Actually, it doesn't matter. It'll get full eventually. We don't need to get, we don't need to babysit it. Uh, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and, uh, open up a star map. I've never done this before, but first time. Uh, we're also ejecting O2 into space. That's right. That's right. All right, let's do it. I've never seen this. So what do we have? Uh, rockets allow you to visit nearby celestial bodies. Each rocket must have a command module, an engine, and fuel. Uh, you can also carry other modules that allow you to gather specific resources from places you visit. Uh, remember, the more weight a, a rocket has, the more limited it'll be on the distance it could travel. You can add more fuel to fix that, but fuel will add weight as well. Wow, that's a whole whole bunch of things. Let me see. Destinate. Well, I can't launch any missions or anything. Um, analog. Oh, I can analyze. Okay, so use a telescope to analyze space destinations. And it'll tell me what's in there. Whoa, that's fucking cool. I've never seen this. this is great. <laughs> Remember this game? Remember this game just by having oxygen and food? I know. Remember how simple life was back then? All right, so we'll have it. Can I do two analysis? No, okay. So you actually have to pick one. Cool. So let's pick this left one here just to read left to right. And then we'll let them come up. It looks like that's good. Reduce visibility. Probably because I need to open up a little bit more on one side. I don't know which side that would be, but we'll just leave. I think it's fine as is. I don't think we necessarily have to open it up too much. Um, research now. So now we need a, uh, a new research station. We have to get the planetarium up, I think, right? And we end up killing the... Uh, Interstellar using data from telescopes. Ah, yes, using data from telescopes. That's what I wanted to see. So for this, who, where am I going to put it? I had it right here before. But that's a really dumb place to put it. I don't want to make them go all the way up. Do I have to have it nearby? I don't think so. I don't think I have to have it nearby anything. But maybe, oh, you know what? I'll put it right here. Perfect. It's just, just out of the way. The dupes can get here super fast. And, uh, and they can work there. And there's power. I don't know how much power this thing's going to take. We'll find out, I guess. I wish it would just tell me, like, right here on the thing before you build it. It'd be great. What's it made out of? Oh, it doesn't matter right now. Those regular towers get ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, rocket calculator. You'll, I'll need that? Oh, man. I'll just bookmark it. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to have someone tell me how to play the game. I figured all this shit out by myself. <laughs> Trial and error. I'll get a rocket to space. I'll probably read that later, actually. Uh, let me see. So this is... Okay, so it's still... Is somebody in there actually right now? Hmm. I think that my my gate setup is a little too unforgiving. Let's just for the time being make this like one sec, point one second. That way it just constantly pumps there. We'll get this thing nice and full of oxygen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really with this nonsense? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe what we should do is... 
Yeah, I don't have a sensor either that sense moving objects. It's not like Space Engineers. I have a sensor and just click on meteors. <laughs> I guess I'll have to run over here and lock these doors, like ASAP. Because of this nonsense. It's like a fucking Plinko machine, man. There's a space scanner. Oh my god, dude. Didn't we just have this conversation? Didn't you just say that you need to actually research a space scanner? Calm down. <laughs> you guys told me I had to research a space scanner. I don't have a research. We just said this. All right, let's see. Um, do it. Wait, where is it at? I see space scanner. I was just see. Oh, it's right here. I fucking told you guys. What the hell? <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. So where is it at then? It's on a rocketry. Automation. Is that where it's at? Space scanner. Ah, thank you, Chaos. Thank you so much. Okay, so this has to be somewhere then. Send the green signals automated circuit on oh, see space scanner can be configured to detect incoming meteor showers or returning space rockets. Okay. Networks does this have to be exposed to space necessarily? I mean I'm sure it does, but let's just go ahead and put it down right here next to this. And then um we'll figure it out. Oh god, I gotta get rid of all these. Get rid of these. Close the doors. No worries, Chaos. You try you tried. You tried. But yeah, I, I like I said, like I thought they had to research it. That's why I asked. Um, but it's not your fault. It's fine. 15 tiles wide as well as tall to see. Okay, so we'll have to just cut this out and just make a little bit more. Um, I wonder if it can see through the telescope. We'll see. What did I make that out of? Uh, oh, I didn't build it yet, actually, so. Is this order? Yeah, this is like a never get done order. Never mind. I guess they're already here to do work. Awesome. Let's uh, let's go ahead and have the guys start to. Well, we're we'll going to put it down first, and we'll see if it's actually blocked by anything. Okay, put this here. No, oh, no, 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 no. Gonna make it out of steel. Everything out here is going to be made out of steel because the shit's going to get beat up one way or another. I can't imagine this scanner is going to be absolutely perfect. Wow, it's only twenty-five. Wow, it's fucking cheap. We can make a whole bunch of those. All right. All right, I know some of you guys have been to space, but give me, give me, give me, just give me a bit to just kind of, you know, feel it out. This is my first time, like, getting here, so give me, let me just experience it a little bit first, and then we'll, and then I'll start tapping you guys for information. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give me, let me, let me just, let me just squeeze the titties first before you tell me how they feel. You understand? Just let me just, and then, okay? <laughs> and then we'll dig all this stuff out, too. I guess let's do this. Oh my god! <sighs> I just gotta wait for that. I guess we should check out other things too. We have other problems in the base too. You squeeze <laughs> You're squeezing it wrong. <laughs> oh hey, the water actually came down here finally. Uh, or not finally, but it actually ended up uh, leaking out. Uh, it's still a lot of hydrogen here, which is kind of interesting because this should be kicking on anytime that there's hydrogen that it senses, which is not enough actually. actually. So let's make this so it's above 100. There we go. Just make that bitch run. Make sure you little Taco Bell onto your rockets! Oh, actually, that's perfect. We'll do that. Good, good, good. Get it, Woofy! Get it, Woofy! Go, go, go! New printables are- oh, that's right, printables. Let me see. Copper ore. Looks great. Damage overheated. Security door, liquid reservoir, gas reservoir. Uh-oh, some of those are mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. Those are mine! <laughs> Shit! Uh... Let me see. Are there hiccups? No, I don't. No hiccups. And let me see. I'm gonna take this and loop it back. Some of these are made out of steel. Yeah. So what I'll do is on this one, uh, I, as much as I want to focus on space, we also have to continue maintaining our bit. Shit, which one was it? <laughs> steel, not steel. Got it. Got it. Got it. We gotta figure it out now. Okay, so snip snip on the one right there. Good. So that will get that, and then what we'll do is we're going to bypass this and loop it back around. So we'll make this relative relative emergency. And then we'll just go right into here. Uh, Yeah, that way we can move it from there. They'll have to repair this a couple times and we'll replace it with steel. I still want to have this nice fat row of uh, of uh, reservoirs. Oh, that, God, these ones up here are fucked up too. That's super. <laughs> that is fantastic. Nine. Nine. Oh, not wire. This. Deconstruct. Get out. Nine. 
Uh, we'll rebuild these up here. And we'll make them out of steel as well. Just give a little bit of space to the ones that are below, so... Uh, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Just really hot gases. And you know what, this place is like leaking too, so maybe we should go ahead and stop this thing. We'll disable that. Because we're, we're, we're not using it up uh, quicker than we're actually uh, extracting it. It's starting to make a mess all over the place. Uh, which is also actually giving, uh, adding a bunch of heat to the area. So let me go ahead and make a mop command here. Too much liquid not on floor. Yes, I know. There we go. We'll get rid of some of that. There's going to be some hot ass water that someone's going to try to take up top. Bet your ass. Nope. <laughs> All right, so we get that built, and what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just repair and very quickly turn around and dump it into the, uh, the the new ones that we built right above that are made out of steel, right? To make those out of steel. Okay, just checking. Sometimes it makes mistakes like that. So we'll go ventilate it or whatever, and then we'll just go straight up into here, and we'll just do each one independently. That way we can just repair, it dumps, repair, dump, repair, dump, just like that, and then we'll reconnect them uh, the, the correct way. And then. There we go, and then we'll snip this so that way we're not getting any more from here, and then we'll we'll figure it out in a second. <sighs> the Taco Bell natural gas rocket. Water tears at work. Luckily, Mike B is streaming. That's right. I'm here. I'll save you. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. Oh well, hold on a sec. What y'all doing? Oh, it's fine. Is that fine? No, it's not. Let's turn this off. Just stop doing things. There we go. There, that just shuts all that off. And then this is gonna continue to run on its own, charge this battery, whatever, it's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, so this problem is gonna remedy itself shortly-ish. Are they mopping like crazy right there? Oh, it looks like, God, Lindsay's always the one, man. Lindsay's always the one that's just like mopping like, like, like a madman. This does not do that one. <laughs> oh, cause it's pouring out. Ah, it's pouring out, that's why. Cause it's pouring from here to over here. Yeah, oh man. Didn't I put a mop command? Oh, I guess it because of the water there. How much is that water? 146 point something. How much is there? Not a lot. So I guess if it, they do take it up top and ruin my oxygen setup, it's not that big of a deal? Question mark? This thing's done. Uh, let's go and research. Oh, you know what? There's going to need water and such, right? It's the same thing as any other uh, research facility. Hmm. Mad woman. You're correct. You're absolutely correct, Buffy. My apologies. Uh, what happened to my, uh, overlay? Oh, weird. Let me see. Aaron's properties, just said da 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 Germs, Aaron's, see, instant planetarium. I'm guessing it's gonna need water, right? It's gonna need water. Well, we'll see what it needs. Once they, once they get started with research, then we'll see what exactly it needs. Uh, let's see, liquid cargo tank. Uh, let's see, burns, refined iron, and oxalate to increase rocket exploration distance. I guess we should just start... I mean, just, yeah, we'll just start going down the line and just seeing what we could do. Oh, man, it's gonna need the other science machines, too, which I've already dismantled. Oh, shit. We're gonna have to create an entire... Uh, we, we have the first tiers here done, but yeah, we're gonna have to create an entire separate setup here for, um... To get our missing research agency. Oh, data bank. Okay, so we have to wait for something to happen to get uh, data banks, I guess, which is the consumable for this. Oh, shit, this is bad. Uh, well, bad ish. Then we'll go bin. There. That'll help. <laughs> and let's see. Good. Then we'll put another one of these up. I'm just gonna put a couple ladders here. Boom, 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 boom. Then, just so it makes it a little bit easier, we'll just leave that there for a second. It's actually probably protecting it while we don't have a steel door up here. There we go. And actually, all of this needs to go. <sighs> Always creating jump puzzle for dupes. Yeah, exactly. When he builds his first rocket, it's gonna be a hoot. <laughs> 990! 990! Let's get rid of that red, that red uh, thing in the upper right corner and just uh, deselect that. There we go. Just one last thing to be flagged up here. No line of sight. Let's see, repair. Well, they'll repair it whenever they get around to it. How much How much gas do we have? Disable automation grid. Ah, cool, so it did work. I guess we didn't need the, uh, yeah, we didn't need the the buffer gate. I think it was, I was over, I was over engineering it, it seems. Um, yeah, so good. So it's any green signal, which is the red signal, which shuts it off. Perfect. That's all we need. We didn't need all this shit. 
<laughs> we just need a knock gate, not the not the buffer gate. But we'll leave it alone. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Build this shit right now. This is just a constant thing, isn't it? This is constant. The antenna's not connected to anything just yet. We haven't got there yet. We just we just set it up. We'll get there. <laughs> We're doing a lot of things at once, man. We're get there. We're getting there. Ooh, but it's a whole lot of power to open and close this thing. Yikes, is that gonna overload that wire? Uh, potential power, 2.23k watts. Um... Well, I guess only when this is being used. So we'll see if we start, if we start bursting at the seams, then we'll uh, figure something out. But I think, I think what I want to do is eventually get us to the point where we're just using uh, solar power, which means we have to do glass, which I don't have glass. We have lots of sand. So I'm assuming that's what you need to make glass. And it's a glass making machine. So I guess we could do all that later. 